So welcome back to the channel guys. It's been a few uh, weeks or months since my last video, but it's time to build out the minivan here. This is my dad's old Dodge Caravan and we're gonna be building a sort of bed couch platform in here. Found these really cool um, plans online uh, that I'm gonna follow. I'll have a link in the description. You guys can check that out if you guys have a Dodge Caravan and wanna build uh, this. And uh, got my buddy Joel here. Hi to the camera, Joel. Hi Joel. No, hi camera. Yeah, so this is uh, the van. I got a, the seats taken out of the back. I've removed this uh, seat here. Lots of storage in there now where the seat used to be, which would be cool. Uh, gonna, yeah, so there should be plenty of room in here. Now this is all going to be super budget friendly. Uh, I got some stuff off my dad, an old TV we're going to set up in here. I have put a new stereo in the van a nice upgrade down there. So yeah, we have a nice uh, Apple CarPlay stereo in the van now, which will be super cool for navigation purposes on there. The cool thing was I actually sold the stock radio in the van for more money than this uh, Apple CarPlay radio cost me. So that was a pretty cool little upgrade for the van that'll make it a lot easier uh, navigating around. Sorry the van's so dirty guys, but I did also install a trailer hitch on the van. That'll be nice for the uh, for hooking up my bike rack to it. So yeah, let's uh, get this built and then maybe we'll stop along the way, do some video, show you it when it's done. Look who showed up. Oh, hey guys. You remember me? Probably not. He hasn't been on the channel a long time. Doesn't even have a mountain bike anymore. No, I don't. I'm just, you I'm just, don't have uh, a mountain bike anymore? No. You want me to hold this piece here for you? No. No, I'll see. No. Here's what we got so far. We built this platform in here. Got some hinges here that allows me to lift this up for access to the storage space underneath here. One thing I did build here, I'll show you, lift this up. Built this kind of uh, storage spot that's on the bottom of this panel that I can slide in my. Uh, the uh, covers for the windows. So I'll just slide those in there and show you guys what I mean here. So these are just the, um, the panels that I put in the windows to uh, block out the sun. And so this should slide, you should just slide in here like this now. So I can store all these out of the way here. So there, there they are all there, if you can see that. There they all go up in here and just stay put and then I can slide down out of the way here. Make sure they're back, just like so. And it's a nice way to uh, it's a nice way to store them out of the way here in a little bit of a, a wasted space, anyways. That I wouldn't be using much, anyways. Or here's the platform from the front of the van. Looking back. Now the original plan that I was looking at it had a a pivot point right around here that allowed this to fold back. But based on, I have to keep this, um, has to be fairly low in the van just to be able to fit my bike in there for the height wise, uh, which I'll show you guys here in a second how that's gonna work. But the original plan that I looked up online, this panel would have been, like the bed platform would be about this high and uh, it'd be a little problematic to fit the bike in there. So in order to uh, make this into a couch, oh, I got the cat exploring. What are you doing? You checking it out? This is Oatmeal the Cat. Checking out things. So yeah, in order to flip this up into a couch, I need to loosen these on each side and then this pulls out. So I'll show you that. So I'll just loosen this one here. I'll go over to the other side. So 
then I just loosen this over here as well. And now this pulls out like so. And then I can just bring this up here and slide it in to this slot we put here. And now and I can just take these things we, these little platforms we made, they can just slide up underneath here or I can put them down in the storage bin there. I haven't decided yet where I'm gonna put them, but this gives me a nice little uh, spot to, uh, to sit in the van now. Sit here, I'm gonna maybe mount a TV up over here in between the seats. I got a nice, uh, I don't know, 18, 20 inch TV. My dad wasn't using any more LCD TV on a bracket. Gonna try to rig up something here and mount a TV in front here so it's a nice little uh, couch to uh, relax in the van when I'm not, when I don't have it set up in the bed uh, configuration. Now one thing uh, that I did have to do here, because this panel here, as you see here, goes all the way across the back of the van. And in order to put my bike in here, we needed to make a smaller seat. So this one is set up, if I'm gonna take this van and do like a trip with another person, I can take this like this uh, with the full back, full size uh, bed frame in here. But if I'm just going by myself, I only need half of this much. My bike's gonna be sitting in the other half. So that's what this hole here we made in the panel there. If you can see that hole there, we made a smaller seat. So I'll show you how that's gonna work. So basically, if I'm gonna take this myself uh, on a bike trip, I just leave this one at home. So this is the smaller version I made here. So I can take that out on to be a smaller seat. So I'll show you the guys that and then put the bike in and you can kind of see how that's all gonna to work together. So as you can see, that's like the half seat version of this configuration. So I'll go ahead and put my bike in here and you'll see what I'm talking about here. So with my bike in there and it does So the rear tire is just sitting on there. I can pull out this little there to give it a little more room there. And I'm gonna have the fork mounted up there to the plywood. This uh, gives me enough room to sit in here uh, with my bike. So now when I'm on trips by myself, have a nice little spot to uh, sit instead of having to lie down in the bed all the time and the bike is there out of the way and you know nice little pedal for a cup holder if I want. Yeah then this uh, folds down into a bed area right in front here like you saw earlier. So that's what we've done so far with this. Now keep in mind this is just like a budget uh, minivan build. I'm not living in this thing. Uh, it might be, you know, for three, four day weekends, but it's just a little better setup than just lying a, uh, you know, a sleeping pad down on the floor of the van. This is keeping it level, a little more support, uh, allows me to store things more efficiently. So that was the whole point of doing this uh, build on the minivan and budget friendly, of course. So I used as much wood as I had lying around and keeping it totally budget friendly because that's the name of the game for uh, this season for me is definitely going to be budget friendly. A lot of trips in the van instead of, uh, you know, maybe staying in hotels or Airbnbs. So I think now I'm going to take this out of the van and try to sand it down and possibly paint it. Uh, I had another idea. I was going to put some old tiles I found on top of it, but there's not enough to cover it. So I'm just going to try to sand it and paint it and hopefully that will uh, look good. All right, so we got it all finished here. I'm gonna show you guys what we've done so far. This will be kind of version one of the uh, minivan build. I can already tell there's gonna be some things I'm going to want to change in the future, but uh, it's a great start, so I'll show you. So I got the whole uh, platform painted black, like you saw. The sleeping pad, let's make it a bit brighter here. Bike mounted in there with the fork mount, so it's nice and secure. I'm gonna have to come up with some other way of mounting the front tire uh, just so it doesn't roll around but I'll think about something for that and you can see up there I got the TV mounted and 
looks a little bit crooked from this angle and a little bit too low, but we'll get that fixed up in future editions of this. So I'll just show you here how I got this TV hooked up in here. I do have it running on battery power, which is kind of cool, but I'll probably need to get a bigger battery in the future. The one I have might only last for an hour or so, but I'll show you how I got that all set up here. All right, so I'll show you there. I got the uh, TV running off this little battery pack down in here. So it's just running off of this right now. Probably want to get a bigger battery pack in the future. But that's just running down in the seat compartment underneath there so close that up there and then we have the TV there with the seat all set up there so there you go guys there's the first version of the minivan build uh, I've already know like I said I'm gonna be making some changes to it probably raising the TVs a bit low and uh, making some other changes to make it a little bit better but this uh, gets me started and uh, yeah, we'll be making changes along the way. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe in the bottom corner if you haven't already. And until next time, keep your feet on the pedals.